Hello everyone, uh, my name is Abhishek Jain and today I am just going to explain how you can just set up the Spring Framework with your Eclipse. So for uh, setting up the uh, Spring Framework uh, with the Eclipse, you have to download the jars related to the Spring Framework. The another APIs or the jars which you have to download is related to the Apache Common Logging. Uh, APIs. So in the next uh, in the next step, I'll be just letting you know how you can uh, download the uh, JARS related to the Sprint Framework and the Apache uh, Common Logging APIs, right? So you can just follow the steps which I have mentioned over here. You can just take a pause of this, uh, this PPT and you can just follow these uh, steps. Uh, in the meantime, I'll just explain how you can do it. So whatever uh, the instruction you will be following, you have to just search for the index of release spring framework download on the google and you will get this first link click on this right you will be prompted here you can see all the release you have to just click on the latest release from here and you will get this right so you have to just click on this it will start the downloading of this this i have already done it so this download uh, this download file will would be in a uh, zip file which you have to unzip in your local so till the time it is getting uh, downloaded let me just tell you how you can get the common logging APIs similarly uh, you can uh, just type this you can just uh, uh, take a pause of this video and you can just I mean type this uh, uh, this search string uh, this search string in your local in your uh, browser and you can just uh, hit enter the first link you have to click right and you will be prompted to this page and you have to come down and you have to just click on this binary section right so it will start you know the downloading so the downloading of this zip file has been done so after that you have to just unzip those those two those two uh, zip uh, zip files uh, from the spring framework and the apache common logging api right so apache common logging api unzip file i have just uh, unzipped over here and similarly for spring hibernate uh, i have just no, just just un unzipped over here not here uh, here right so this is not something which you should be worried about I mean you can just uh, download and unzip your file wherever you want it's up to you now to just setting up uh, just setting up the uh, spring framework within the uh, Eclipse what you have to do is first you have to just create the uh, project right just create a one Java project right and just put the name spring setup right put finish right spring setup come here you will see src and the jre system library because you cannot see any uh, uh, jars or the api related which we have downloaded now so you have to set it at this up what you have to do is you have to just right click on this just go to the build path just configure build path right you will be prompted to java build path click on this you will see this library right what you have to do is you have to just include the add external jars right so first i am just i mean including the uh, jars related to the common logging api and these are the two jars right which you have to include in your project right so these are the one the another external jar which you have to include which I have unzipped over here so those are spring framework these this you can uh, you can put it uh, you can put in your local anywhere and you have to just browse for that particular unzipped file so just go to the lips you will see these uh, docs lips and a schema when you just unzipped your uh, zip uh, your zip version of the spring framework jars just click on lips right select all of them right just open it up Right, you will see all your jars related to the Spring Framework and the common uh, logging APIs you will see over here. Now you have to press OK. Right, so this environment reference library you will see all the jars related to the Spring Framework and the common logging API. So now your environment or your Eclipse is ready to start. I mean, using the Spring Framework uh, to just uh, to just I mean how you can just write a, a, a simple program in the Spring Framework just uh, 
I will be uploading a, another video where I will be just explaining how you can use the Spring framework to write your Java application. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or if you just find any difficulties or if you have any feedback on this video, just write it down in the comment section and I will be I'll be I will be taking the uh, necessary action or the corrective action accordingly. Thank you for watching this and have a nice day ahead. Thank you everybody.